Well, if men and women are equal, then why should there ever be sex segregated spaces of any sort? And we're certainly seeing, seeing that on the bathroom front. We're seeing that on the change room front. We're seeing that on the athletic front. So what do you, where do you think that the line should be drawn so that there are female spaces and male spaces and that those are protected? And how do you think we manage that like legally and conceptually? I think where any place where either of the sexes is vulnerable, whether that be in regards to privacy, in regards to safety, in regards to um, anything that relies on your physiology, because of course men and women are physiologically different. Um, I think that's where that sex protection based rights are important. So prisons, that's an area where women specifically are vulnerable. Um, of course, shelters, again, bathrooms, locker rooms. Um, no woman should be subjected to having a male in that space. Um, so I think it's it's areas where sex so, is so, important. So, okay, so it's okay, so it's something like there's a subset of areas where the fact of the biological difference between men and women becomes paramount. Correct. Right, and so those would be, well, in change rooms is a really good example of that. But you extended that also to say women's shelters and prisons and so forth. So 